Hey everyone, it's Betsy here. And today we're gonna to do some word problems with percents. I'm gonna show you two different ways of doing it and just use whichever way is better for you. So let's get started. All right, the first thing I need you to see up on the left side here, I have of means times and is means equals. I need you to remember that. Of means times, is means equals. When I see the word what, what percent, I'm gonna call that P. I don't know what the answer is. Use whatever letter you like. Since we're using percent, I'm gonna use P for percent. It says what percent of 26 is 32? So what percent of means times in math, just like I told you up here, 26 is means equals in math. 32. So of means times is means equals. How are we doing everyone? All right, so now I got 26 times P, which is 26 P equals 32. But I don't want 26 P, I want P, we're looking for the percent. So what do we have to do? They're times in, so we are going to divide. And whatever we do to one side, we got to do the other. It's 26 times P, so I'm going to divide by 26. Whatever I do to one side, I got to do to the other. Now on the left side, 26 divided by 26, that's just one, so I'm left with P. And 32, 32 divided by 26 is about 1.23. So we want to know the percent. That's the decimal. So I need to move the decimal. How many places to change it from a decimal to a percent? Two. So the percent is actually 123%. And think about it, what percent of 26 is 32? Well, 32 is bigger than 26. So it's more than 100%. Be smart when you do the problems. Have an idea of what the answer should be before you even do the problem, all right? All right, let's look at my other method of doing this. Ooh, I just lost my pen. All right, now you see up here, I have percent over 100 equals is over of. So I've got a proportion here. And that's how we're gonna solve it this time. So it says percent, well, we don't know what percent, so I'll put a P there. It's always over 100, your percent is always over 100, equals. Whatever comes after the is, is your is. Is 32, so the 32 goes on top. Of 26, the of is on the bottom, the of goes on the bottom. Not too bad, is it? So you're just replacing the is with whatever comes after the is, and the of with whatever comes right after the of. All right, now we've got a proportion. So how do we solve those? We, you know, we cross multiply. P times 26 is 26 P. And 32 times 100 is 3200. Now I don't want 26 P, I want P. So, they're multiplying by 26, so we're going to divide by 26. And whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So guess what? When I go to my calculator, which I'm gonna do for you, and type in 3200 and divide by 26, guess what I get? Approximately 123%. So using the first method, you get the decimal answer and you have to put it into a percent. If you use the proportion method, it's already in percent. So whichever method works better for you, I am gonna be doing a couple more problems in this playlist. So check them out. And thank you and I hope you have an awesome day and please subscribe. La 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 la. La 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 la.